The Alter survey is what you find. I think it's an article five of the purchase and sale contract. All right. Now you have to understand just how important this survey is. But before I get, we get into the details, let me show you that the Alta, you'll hear this uh, term in many different places. Alta is the American Land Title Association. Okay. If you go down to Texas, they don't use the Alta, they use the TLTA, the Texas Land Title Association. All right. So in different uh, markets, you need to understand what is the gold standard. Pre pre predominantly across the country, the gold standard for the surveying is the Alta survey. Okay. And, and the other thing that you have to understand is that not all surveys are the same. So when you see an Alta survey, you could see another one called a boundary survey. A boundary survey is inadequate for many things. So, and so when you are writing your purchase and sale agreement and you're telling the seller what you want, you tell them, I want the gold standard. I want the Alta survey. And this is going to come into effect when you're doing your title insurance search. Okay, when the, when the title insurance uh, exceptions come back, they will put exceptions into the title policy and then they will say, but we'll waive these if you have an updated Alta survey. Okay, so that's why you ask for the Alta survey in the purchase and sale agreement. And, and you try to get the seller to pay for it as well. Um, so this is, this is what, we, uh, what we do here uh, with Alta. And you, this is, you'll see this in Article 5 of the purchase and sale contract. 